I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Hey guys, Sophia here for my great challenge. Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually filming um, the weekend after the disaster. <laughs> I'm going to show you. So um, once I'm done with my little chit chat, you'll get to see the video I filmed last weekend. Uh, it was my first time sheet rocking. You can see some of it here. It's fine. I'm not going to, I'm blocking it so you don't see it. Okay. But the part on top here I'm going to show you is the absolute disaster. I got to rip it and I got to start over. And my mistake was, there was two mistakes. One, um, the ceiling board, uh, the ceiling plate was not flushed to the post. So I'm off by half an inch. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I thought I was uh, aligned, but I'm not. And um, two, I started shit rocking that area um, when I started last weekend, which was the wrong thing to do when you've never done shit rock before. I started with the hardest part. So let me show you what my issue is, and then I'm going to tell you how I'm going to fix it. You'll watch the video, and um, I'm going to do that, you know, because I got to rip it and all of that. And then at the end of this video, I'll show you the fixed. Uh, part. Hopefully I fix it. Okay, so let me show you what the problem is. All right, so here's the issue uh, Let me get my uh, Stick here. Okay This is recessed by half an inch compared to this area here so what happens uh, is that uh, When no, it's not recessed it's protruding by half an inch. So what happens is when I put this board here I have a dent. Let me give you a close up. And you can probably see it. So the issue is that this was not uh, flushed properly. My first time, that's okay. I'm all the way up for a new challenge. So what I'm gonna do is take out this board, which was the first one I installed. And I'm gonna shim the back and put a new board over it. And I'm gonna do my very best to flush it. This guy here, I'm... Uh, perfectly aligned here I am not here very obviously okay so what I need to do is uh, shim it to the point where it matches this one and when I'm done with the shims and uh, figuring out how I'm going to realign everything I'll put a new board and then I'll show you the result at the end of the video so um, enjoy it was a disaster I have no problem showing you my mistakes. I am not beyond, um, you know, making mistakes, obviously. And actually, I've learned a lot from this mistake. And trust me, I won't make it again. <laughs> so, again, um, sometimes, you know, you do projects, you have a, a, an idea of what needs to be done, but there were some things I didn't check. So, I'm learning. Um, this is actually a challenge that I'm looking forward to doing. I'm just gonna rip the whole thing and uh, figure out how to make it flush. That's it, um, not a big deal. But if there's a lesson here, is that do not get discouraged, okay? Because you know I like always to give you a lesson. Um, and we'll talk about that in the next video. Um, the kind of lesson that I want to teach with this process. Um, don't get discouraged. You're gonna mess up, all right? You are going to mess up, I did. I have no problem showing you that I messed up. And by the way, you're probably seeing uh, a different setup here. Um, I've decided to do a long bar at the bottom with all my clothes hanging and put all shelves above it. It gives me access to the cubby and I can fold and put baskets and stuff with all my stuff. Um, that is exactly the amount right here from the dresser of what I have in the dresser. And then the bottom part here is the exact same length of the clothes I have hanging in the uh, other closet so I am not losing a inch of space not one inch and I can still put my shoes on the other side and I have access to them so anyway I'm always you know thinking uh, enjoy the video it's probably laughable it's okay um, I don't profess to be a professional I'm just building my own closet and I gotta tell you I am loving the experience so I'll see you in a bit Hey 
everyone, Sophia here from My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel. This is episode 8 of my master bedroom makeover and I'm still doing the closet. Today I am starting to apply uh, sheetrock, also known as drywall. So if you watch the video, um, the previous one, I I uh, told you that I could not get the large sheets of uh, drywall because they don't fit in my car. <laughs> they just don't fit. And for various reasons, I didn't want to have to put it um, on top of the car because I, I felt that it's a guarantee I'm going to break it. So it didn't fit in the outback. So what I did instead was buy what they call the repair patch, um, which are these big pieces here. And since the closet itself is relatively small areas, uh, I'm just going to do what I always do, which is uh, uh, patchwork, <laughs> the whole thing. Um, I only bought four because I wanted to see how I was going to manage that. Um, and then next weekend, if this works, I'll probably buy another four or five and then finish it up. Um, I've kind of looked at it already. On this side, it definitely fits. On that side, I'm missing about this much. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to do the patch towards the uh, outside of the closet or towards the wall um, where it's going to be the least visible. But if I do a good job with the mudding and all of this stuff, um, then that shouldn't be a problem. It would disappear anyway. It's not going to be a very long video because again, I only have four pieces. Um, there's not much to it. I'm not doing any mudding or plastering today or taping. I'm only cutting pieces and applying them um, to my frame. That's it. Uh, so what do you need? You need sheetrock. It's half an inch. Uh, you need adhesive, which is uh, I bought the Robert 7200 Superior Wall Base Adhesive. Um, so you need the gun for that uh, glue gun so because before you apply your sheetrock and screw it in you actually have to um, apply it and secure it with a base uh, and then I bought sheetrock screws because that's what you screw it in with um, and those are number six screw Phillips one inch that's it so again the sheetrock itself is half an inch and the screws are one inch so half an inch of it goes into the wood and you only screw obviously into the frame. Let's look at uh, the sheetrock and how it works. On this particular frame I'm going to show you where I'm missing pieces um, and we'll get started. I know it looks like I'm working at night. I'm not. It's actually just noon but we're in the middle of a snowstorm by the way. So. Uh, this is what they sell at the Home Depot as uh, patch sheetrock. If you have like a hole in the wall or you know, whatever, it's half an inch. And if you remember, all of my um, let me move this. I did a half an inch for pretty much everything. Okay, but the wall again is not straight. All right, so this goes here, then you put the next one above it uh, like this, okay? Um, I have to score them, cut them, but I want to show you on the other side. I don't have much room, but I'll show you anyway. This is the side that goes to um, the bathroom, okay? And you see how it leaves <laughs> um, that stuff everywhere? So if you remember, I kept a half an inch here from the door frame because I had the intention of putting the sheetrock in it, right? And it fits right in. So if I do this, then I have about this much uh, missing, which is not a lot. So what I'm probably going to do is move this here, uh, flush here, and then like this, the next one for the front will go um, over it like this, right? So this will get patched. And then for the piece that I'm missing in the back over there, I'll just cut pieces 
put them in there and then I'll run the tape and then again tape will be here and everywhere else. Now I'm not going to do this wall yet because this piece of wood here, this beam, is a little off. I need to plane it. Uh, I don't want to do that today. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it today. Um, so if I put this here, you'll see that it's uh, uh, it's not fitting, it's buckling. All right. And the only reason why it's doing, you see how it's not fitting? It's because this one is protruding, so I have to plane it. Uh, but pretty much, yeah, this is what it's going to look like. You see how it closes up the wall? I think it's going to look great. Um, and even Scott says, wow, that's going to be pretty cool. So, I think I'm going to start with the corner over there. Uh, which is going to be the biggest problem, or maybe I'll start with the top. Let me start with the top. The advantage of working with those small pieces that I can lift them and do all sorts of things with them. Okay, so the top, obviously there's going to be a piece right here. And I'm going to stop it right here um, where there's this indentation here from the ceiling. But then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the angle. The easiest one to do is gonna be this one and that's gonna be my first one. I gotta make sure that I'm leveled and I bet you I'm not because I don't think the ceiling is. So it's 21 and three quarters plus half an inch. So that's 22 and a quarter. Let me write it down. 22 and a quarter by exactly 14. So I'm going to do the 14 first. I already put my little uh, 14 marks, you know, using this, boom, 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 boom. And I'm using a T-square to mark my line. So that's my 14, okay? Let me put an X here. Make sure I don't confuse that because you know me and inches okay and then this is supposed to be 22 and a quarter just making it I'm actually going a little bit under 22 and a quarter by one eight In order for me to hold this in place before I go get the um, uh, drill and my screws, I'm just going to put in a nail here. Being careful not to make a dent. And I'm going to put a nail over here because I need it to uh, hold in place, you know what I mean? Here's my issue. Uh, the bar, the nailer that I have here is not at the same level than this one. So in order for me to fix this and keep it straight, it's a little bit more recessed here than it's going to be here. So that part here is going to have to get sanded down. <sighs> okay, so this is 14. 
and this all the way up to here. Let me make sure I'm straight. Is exactly 20. Okay, please fit. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, this is off. Um, it is what it is. It's off by a lot. Oh, but I tell you what, this one's perfect. So we're gonna use it here. <laughs> So this is just weird because I just measured this one and it's a little bit off, but if I slide it this way, right here, it's perfect. <laughs> so we're going to use it right here and then I'll figure out something for this part. This is just weird. I think this, this one is off. This one needs to be pushed, but this is good. All right, so we're moving on to this and I'm going to put this one right here. So let me get the glue. I said it was going to be patchwork. it that the one I measured for here didn't fit but fit exactly over there this is the leftover from this um, I can put it like this I just got to cut here and here but first I'm gonna finish this wall um, I think that sometimes this week I'm gonna take this out I don't like the way it looks um, it was my first one. I should have done the sides first, right? And I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, but anyway, so this is looking good. And again, all of those seams here um, get compound on them and then tape and then everything gets mudded again. So it will disappear. Um, we're thinking about putting wallpaper anyway. So um, if it doesn't really disappear, and I put wallpaper on it. it. Won't show at all. Okay, so let me do this. I've already scored it. Um, I'll be right back. Uh, this is the closet I seen from my bed, and I mean, it looks like a closet. Aside from that piece on top, uh, everything else is coming along. So let me show you um, what I meant with this being leveled. Hold on. So when you come from the stairs, it's obvious that you have uh, this whole area here that's raised, right, compared to the bottom part, which is flush to the wall, right? But if I use my level, this is my wall. Let me do it from the top, from the top, this is my wall, 
and at the bottom and at the bottom this is my wall okay so this wall here is not leveled here you go this is the yellow wall this is my wall I hope it makes sense as to why I did it that way uh, well that's it for this video um, I hope you enjoyed it uh, it was a struggle but I did it okay I did it and um, I'm not gonna say I'm super proud of myself because I still think that I should have done a better job but you know what in the end I will have a closet <laughs> that's all that matters when you look at things in um, in the process right as they are unraveling a lot of times you're like oh my god <laughs> what a disaster and then once the product is finished you go like hey actually you know what this is not bad so I think this is going to be one of those cases like you're catching it right in the middle you're probably wondering what is this girl doing she's insane and incapable um, but that's all right <laughs> because in the end I'll have a closet and uh, again if the walls are not super straight uh, it's not a big deal for me because we're still thinking about putting more paper and um, the type of wallpaper that we're going to put on is definitely the kind of paper that will cover any kind of uh, ding, dips, you know, uh, uneven surfaces. Um, that's the beauty of those particular wallpaper. Um, so yeah, I'm happy. All right, I'll leave you here um, going back to work tomorrow. And uh, so I'm not going to be able to do anything um, until this weekend. So the next time you see me on this project, I will be adding the piece on top, um, the one in the front here, and then I will do the side and uh, we will be done with the sheet rocking. And then after that, we'll start with the mudding and all of that stuff, which I've never done. Well, the tape has to um, dry, so maybe Saturday, no, I won't have time to do all of that. Uh, so I'll just do Saturday I'll do the rest and then Sunday I'll do the tape let it dry all week and then the week after that will probably be last week of January I'll do the mudding and then it's the door again and then once that's done once the door is there I'm not doing the floor yet I don't know what I'm gonna do with the floor um, I know the carpet is being removed here but for this floor here I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, I may have the guys do carpet throughout when they come in so that's why I'm not addressing the carpet yet and after that it's bookcase and um, you know keep moving on so I think I'm on track to finish this whole bedroom by May we'll see yes I did it okay can you see all even um, so what did I have to do um, the issue was uh, the ceiling plate here it's good here but it was not here so I shimmed it in the back here with wooden shims um, these guys okay so I put a bunch until and I had a little piece of uh, drywall that I use to kind of measure and then I did the same thing here okay and here I didn't need it so I was able to cut out a whole piece okay here I have a, a, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell I have a, a piece of uh, paper that uh, came out so I uh, re-glued it um, and this glue will allow me to mud without getting it wet because that glue is uh, um, uh, what do you call it the uh, synthetic okay so now when I go like this I'm leveled when I go like this I'm leveled and I'm good here, so this is good. All right, I fixed it. So this is the end of this video, um, and I'm gonna start filming uh, the next one, which is gonna be finishing the whole shit rock and start taping, um, doing the joint uh, seam thing. Um, the moral of the story here is like, do not be afraid of making a mistake. If you make a mistake, walk away, come back later, fix it, okay? It was not difficult to fix, 
uh, it was just a matter of leveling it with uh, with the shims. Okay, um, it's all adhered properly now. Um, what I'm gonna have to do tomorrow when I go to Home Depot again um, is because uh, am I starting mudding tomorrow? Maybe I may mud tomorrow. Ooh, I don't know. We'll see. But I definitely have to get uh, the corner bead, uh, which is basically once I have the one that comes here. Right, I'm gonna have this ugly corner here, so I need to be able to put something to cover it so that I can mud over it and it will protect the corner. And I believe I'm supposed to do the same thing here, um, but this is gonna have to get sanded uh, nice. Oh, I don't know if you can see right here. I had to put some shims in the headboard. You know, remember I had it separated? Um, it was a little bit off, so I had to shim it so that I can move this corner here flush to this area. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just a matter of putting shims in it and then I gotta cut them and send them down. But this whole area here needs to be um, corner beaded and then this, is that a word? Corner beaded. <laughs> I gotta do the same thing here and um, we're ready to uh, mud. So after that, once I have the corners here, I'll put the uh, inner plates for the door and then I'll put a door. Um, two panels this big is going to look ridiculous, isn't it? Should I just do one big door? I don't think I want one big door. I think I just want a small, two small panel. I'll have to think about it. You see, I'm making it up as I go, all right? Um, because I'm not an architect, nor am I an interior designer. <laughs> but I will have a closet. That I can tell you. I will have a closet and it will work for me. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Give me a thumbs up if you like uh, this repair <laughs> that I did. Um, you know, after that, it's just a matter of uh, seaming and, and uh, mudding and then smoothing it out uh, so you won't know. And uh, that would be it. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.